What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landed here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Uh, today I wanted to share with you guys my three steps to creating an online business. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out and this is on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our pages. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit and earn income online. So uh, as I mentioned before, today I want to talk with you guys a little bit about the three steps to creating an online business. In our past videos, we've talked the number of ways in which you can promote a business. In the last video, I discussed with you guys about creating your website and different ways in which you can go about creating your website. And I share with you guys how most people believe that the first step in creating an online business is coming up with the website. And although you may think that to be true, it's not 100% the case. Uh, honestly, we have a three-step formula. If you really want to succeed with creating your online business, the first step has to be identifying a niche. A niche is identifying a segment of a particular market in which you feel you can succeed in. Uh, there is a market for, and it's not generalized. It's not blanket a blanket group. So in the last video, I shared with you guys how I got started uh, creating website. My first one of my first websites was for Groupon style website. Well, if we were to create just a, a similar website like a Groupon site, one could think that it's blanketing the entire United States, if not the entire world. However, that would be, you know, not knowing me, the Wi-Fi entrepreneur. And the very first thing that we did was one, identifying a niche. So we identified a group within that marketplace of people who are looking for online deals, wholesales, you know, bulk selling, etc. And we basically segmented out a particular market. So for an example, instead of saying I'm gonna, you know, create a, a group bond style website that takes over the entire United States, and instead I'm gonna segment that site to only deal with people in Houston, let's say, or I'm only gonna deal with uh, a certain area with inside of Houston. So you can see how you identify a broader need for the, the particular service. You uh, then broken that need down smaller to maybe a, a particular region and then uh, even smaller than that. So, okay, I was gonna say a particular city and then down to a particular region within that city. So these are just ways in which you can break down a your 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 idea into niche style segments. And once you identify what niche you wanna operate in, then you can go about creating your website. So step one is first identifying your niche. Step two is then creating your website that speaks to that niche. So you can imagine if you were creating a website that was marketing to the entire United States, uh, it would say, look and feel like one way versus if you were only advertising to your local city or your local uh, jurisdiction or your local district. You can see how that may differ, how the design of the website speaks to that customer, okay? so. That's what we wanna focus on the niche because of the fact that when someone's going looking for that service, they're gonna to gravitate to those that feels more closely to whom they are, whom they identify as. So that's why working within the niche is very good. And then you can go about step two, creating your website to fit those needs. So step one, identifying your niche. Step two, creating your website, okay? Now, if you don't know how to create your own website, Check out the video, the last video, you'll see information on how you can create your own website. Now the last and final step, after you've identified your niche, after you've built and created a wonderful website, the last and final thing is you want to drive traffic to that website. Now, it's not as hard as it seems. You'd be surprised. Once you've done the steps in their correct order, you can then focus on particular segments like creating uh, traffic for your website in a whole entirely different manner. You can say, look, I'm at a point where I know my website is good. I know I'm working within a niche. 
that's generating a specific group. I can now work on getting that specific group to like the content that I'm sharing, to be interested in what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, to uh, build up some of that attraction style marketing, see different ways in which we can do that. But you can only feel comfortable doing that if you are secure in knowing that step one is done correctly and step two is done correctly. Okay, so then when we come to step three and we're talking about creating your uh, generating traffic, we can just make small steps, small steps to do better, to do better, to get a little more traffic, to see where we can improve upon. We don't have to go and wonder whether or not we are, are, are meeting a certain market's need or et cetera. We've already done that successfully in step one and step two. We create a wonderful website that we know is very appealing to. Uh, to our tar target demographics, we know that we're sharing great content that our demographic is interested in, 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 in looking and finding. So we should be secured there. Now we just have to work on generating that traffic and a good focused effort will get us there. So that's the three steps to creating an online business. I will leave a link below to an article we did. Also down below, we have our training step-by-step. Step. We go through these three steps, help you identify a niche through your personal passion. You know, I gave a general example on how you can break down a niche. However, we have a way that you can, whatever you're passionate about, we can help you identify individual niche inside of that inside of that industry so by all means if you're not part of our community we welcome you to join us we have over 1 million online entrepreneurs in just about every single niche that you can think of you'll be surprised to find a, a high level collaboration available to you to help you again not only formulate a niche but also find products in which you can begin to market with inside of those niches as well so by all means join us inside hopefully these three steps have helped you in some way I, I can almost guarantee that if you were to join us inside the community and go through all of our steps in our program you will see how we dive deeper into each part of these three segments if you will dive deeper into these three segments because quite honestly that's the you know the base that's you know it, you can't make a cake without flour it's the exact same thing you cannot create an, a successful online business without these three these three products okay so well these three steps all right you cannot make a cake without flour eggs and let's say water i, I don't make cakes <laughs> uh however i would imagine those three those three ingredients are uh, very important and it's the same with running an online business or creating an online business you need to have identified a niche you need to have a wonderfully designed website and then you need to begin to focus on generating traffic so i look forward to talking with you guys again real soon whether or not it's on the next video or inside the community if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit the bell so you subscribe to our youtube videos until we talk again take care and be blessed peace